Amy Heller here, Westchester Veterinary Care. I'm going to be demonstrating nail trimming today. And Emma is our test subject. Emma, up! Good girl. Turn around. And sit. Good girl. Okay, well first thing you want to do when you're going to cut your dog's nails is make sure that you have something to stop bleeding just in case you happen to go too far. Uh, sometimes the dog moves inappropriately and you just can't help it. So this product is called Quick Stop. This is a really wonderful septic powder that helps stop bleeding. What I like to do at home is just pour the powder into the cap and then you can press the nail right into the powder and basically pack that blood vessel so it will clot closed. So hopefully we won't need this today, but it's always nice to have on hand. All right, now you want to get nail trimmers. And Emma thought she was done. Up. Oh, good girl. You want to get nail trimmers that have a curved cutting surface that are made for dogs and cats. And I like these big ones that work like scissors for big dogs. Emma, sit. Good. Okay. Emma's very excited about her nail trim, as you can see. <laughs> so I'll start with a white nail here. She's got one of each color on this foot, which is really nice because I can show you how to trim the black nails as well. Now the guideline that you want to use is to cut the nail flat with the pad. Now hers isn't too bad, but as you can see, the top grows over faster than the bottom. And so I want to basically cut the top back at a bit of an angle. So I'm going to angle the clippers backwards so that the top of the nail is cut more severely than the bottom. Okay, so I make sure I leave some white in front of the pink and I just go ahead and cut that right off. Now if I want to see how close I was to the quick, I check the cross section and here I don't see any um, evidence of the quick in the cross section of this cut and that's just fine. I'll do another one. Okay, again, I don't see the quick here and so we're fine. If I start to see a little pink dot right in the middle of the cross section, then that means I got really close to the quick. And that's how we do the dark nails as well. We always look at the cross section after we cut through the nail and make sure that we didn't get too close. Okay? Now the quick also has, besides the blood vessel, has some nerves. And so every time I cut the nail, it's pinching a little bit and Emma's pulling her foot back a little. But she's just anticipating a little bit the pinch. Um, these don't hurt because we haven't hit the quick at all here. Okay? So that's how we do the nail trim. Now after the nail trim's over, these edges are quite sharp. And so a lot of people like to use a Dremel tool to um, just dull down the nail. So this is a Dremel. You can also, this is what the Petty Paws does that you've seen on TV. So put that on high speed and just touch the edges really lightly. And if you think that you're very far from the quick and you want it to file more off, you can actually roll this across to take the nail back even further. So now, after her nail trim, this is nice and smooth. And that's all. Don't forget to give the dog a treat after the nail trim because they did such a good job.